Hello and welcome to a Model Railroad Academy video. In this video we will model an uh, oak tree, uh, inspired by the oaks on the Avery Island. Yeah, this is not uh, the type of tree you build hundreds of and populate your layout with, but I think it's a, it's a kind of tree that really is an excellent eye catcher to put in the front somewhere on any layout. The trunk and the branches are made from 0.7 mm steel wire. I cut these in pieces of 10 inches or 250 mm. I then twist them 4 and 4 and then twist 3 of these which together makes up the thickness of the trunk. At the same time I get 3 thick branches to work with. I insert 2 bent steel wires for each new branch I want to introduce into the tree. This allows me to maintain the thickness of four wires all the way up to the top. Keep adding in new bent wires until you're happy with the set of branches. Then cut off excess length of the steel wire and bend them slightly at the end. I feel happy with this now. Let's go over to the glue. I'm using a PVA glue from Sikabon, but Elmer's old purpose will work just as fine. I brush on this glue over the entire tree, all the branches and the trunk. Then cover the entire tree with chinsilla sand. This is a sand available in zoo shops. The purpose with the sand is to give a coarse texture and a hard surface to the tree. Leave this now to dry overnight. Thus Pronto Clay is an air hardening clay which is very suitable to add thickness both to the trunk and to the branches. The clay will also enable us to engrave realistic bark pattern. Work the clay into the coarse texture and then form the roots. Continue to add clay also on the thicker branches and work the clay all the way up to the top. With the clay in place, I spray some water and then smoothen the branches and the trunk with my finger. This will allow for easier engraving later. This is what my oak looked like with all the clay in place. Now leave this to dry overnight. Now when the clay has hardened, we can engrave the bark pattern using a saw blade. Spare blades for hacksaws or even jewelry saws will work fine for this engraving. Here's what the engraving looks like when completed. The finer branches will consist from static fibers and sea foam. I brush on Elmer All Purpose on all of the naked steel wire branches. After that I apply 12mm static grass fibers. I will also add branches from the sea foam to get some variance in the foliage. I use a 1mm diameter drill to make small holes into the branches where I fit the sea foam and fix it using fast set glue. For this oak I added 12 of these. Next action is to spray paint the entire tree in a grey color. Then mist brown spray paint into the still wet grey spray paint so they mix kind of. Keep misting brown spray paint until you feel happy about the result. Once the spray paint has dried we will apply a layer of wash. This wash contains from burnt amber and black plus a lot of water and I spray it on using a sprayer. The foliage itself contains from Noch leaves, item 7154. The leaves are fixed using spray glue which the leaves are sprinkled into. Repeat the process with more spray glue and more leaves until you feel happy with the density. Static grass glue is added into the areas where I want the moss. The moss itself is woodland scenic burnt grass. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please level up and gain access to the premium content here on Model Railroad Academy. See you in there.